Hey everybody, GB here with Entropic Gaming, and today, welcome back to How to Pull Boyfriend. Last time we did Nageki's line, and oh my god, I am still kind of tearing up about that. Now today you'll notice my face is up in the opposite corner, because I kept noticing that, wait a minute, I am covering the dates. So. Today I believe we are going after Yuya. I think. Let's get into it and see. That's a bit loud. Alright, so... Shireland. Tenbrook. Alright. Is Shireland Tenbrook okay? Yes. Huddle Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdies of birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Display human portraits. Yes. Configuration saved. So, boop. Yeah, we can actually see the date now. There's Ryota. Kazuaki. Shiragane. Or Sakuya. Nageki! Nageki! <laughs> uh. oh, yep, Yuya's up next if we're going by whoever we're meeting in order. Son, the birdiest of birds. All right, what would you want to do? If you want, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. And let's see. If we're going for Yuya, all right. I think we're gonna try the infirmary staff today. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see... infirmary stuff. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today is an elective! Attend... Math. Because why not? I've already seen that one. Oh, I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today! I shouldn't keep them waiting! Better hurry! Salutation, Shirelin! Yuya?! What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me. But no, I'm the second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, Monami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs! <laughs> Aphrodite, oh my god, Aphrodite. What? Sorry, guys. What? Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. Normally, I'd do that. But today, I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course! My thanks, Shirelin. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu! Yuya flutters out the door. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, cleaning. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human, or rather, avian experimentation room. Huh? The desk drawer is open, and there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up? Yuya did say not to go near the desk, but... I think I'll... Let's leave it alone. I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. Better leave it alone. Shire the doctor might show up and turn me into Shireland Salami. Yeah, he might. He might. Ah, sitting home. Da da da. Let's see. Kazuaki. Yeah, 
let's go with math. And we've already seen these. Medjural well aware. Cheerleading. Da 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 da. Today is the sports festival. Never did make up my mind. What should I do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the first aid tent. Salutations! Did you come to gaze into my eyes, mon ami? Um, I heard the first aid tent was short-handed. Salutations? Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams. So maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh-oh. They've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, Monami. Yes, sir! And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was all... It was time well spent, I think. First barrier... Uh, midterms. Da-da-da-da-da. Let's see, let's go to the store because we know Yuya's there. Well, they've got some great things <laughs> for sale. Bless you! My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya! No, 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 that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My... L Yuya, that's... We're not... I'm not good enough? Oh well, I'll have to try again later. Is that how he talks to every girl he meets? I think that's a little rude. What is? That sort of loose talk. Like I'm a game or something. You know, this is the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, Monami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu! Yuya. Today's an elective. Math. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami. Yuya. And then we got... The Nakis. What should I wish for? I think rule the world from the shadows? Yeah, rule the world from the shadows. Wish to take the reins of power, blah blah blah. No, thank you. <laughs> Today's an elective. Math. Blink. Oh, we're getting into stuff I haven't seen before. Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. A Shirelin! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much, just have you heard of the seven mysteries of St. Pidge Nations, Charlene? The school even has its own horror stories? Do tell. Yeah, well, there's one that says that sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary, only show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school store. Sounds like an urban legend to me. <coughs> it does, but Dr. Iwamine is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but... Well, you're a girl, Shirelin. I'm a, wor a little worried. 
That's true. I'll be careful. You're a human! You can punt him! <laughs> Ryota's always been one to overthink things. Anyways, can't keep you you waiting. Jesus. Excuse me, huh? Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I've told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? What makes you think I have? This doesn't look too good. Um... Charlin, there you are, Monami. Charlin can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, Monami? Just what is going on here? It sounds like the doctor suspects Yuya of having searched his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya's obviously lying. I... Unless we want to go with Yuya. It was with Yuya. I don't quite know what's going on, but I don't like the look on the doctor's face. That's right. Yuya and I were having a sexy and luxurious sunbath in the courtyard up until a few minutes ago. I would be cracking up more if it wasn't for how serious this is. Like, the music is like, oh my god. Sexy and luxurious it was indeed. Well, doctor... Very well. I shall have to wait for more solid evidence. Please, do be careful. Of course, Doctor. That was creepy! Yuya, what? Forgive me, Monami. I can't explain right now. But one day. And he's gone. What was that supposed to mean? Is something really happening in this infirmary? I don't know. Got our files back! Today's the last day, it's been a semester already. Da da da, seem like da da da, summer. Should probably find out if I need to come to school to clean the infirmary at all. Cleaning? Well, I will be here just about every day the building is open, but there isn't any real need for you to come too. There's nothing I could do to help? No. Was there anything else? Um, that's all. No, that's all. I will ask you to leave, then. You aren't an unpleasant companion, but I have many experiments to conduct. I think that's the highest compliment I've gotten from him so far. I got kicked out again. What did he mean by experiments, anyways? Like a chemix chemist does? It's easy to fall out of practice, da da da. Boop. Da 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 da. To carve it into your soul, blah 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 blah. Still a long time until summer starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part time job. Nah, that was vital for. Come on. There we go. I think I'll wait until I'm in college. Yeah, that one was for Ryota's route. Today's the local so festival. I think I'll go with someone. Somebody. Invite... Let's see, I wonder who we want to invite. Yuya. A salutation, Sharlin. I am honored to act as your escort tonight, my love. Oh, Yuya, sorry, did I keep you waiting? Don't worry about it. A gentleman never keeps a lady waiting, so I always show up half an hour early. Half an hour? That seems a bit excessive. That's pretty early. Shall we go, Monami? A successful festival indeed. Take my hand, Charlene, lest the crowd separate us. Eh? Don't tell me you're a hand-holding virgin. Better late than never. You were the one who invited me, okay? Um, okay. His feathers are soft. What were you expecting to be? This was fun, Charlon. Where do you live? I'll walk you home. Um, Yuya? What is it? Do you want to play some more? The night is yet young, and as dangerous games are your desire, I will accompany you. 
that's not what I meant. I wanted to ask you something. Of course. Just my height and weight are classified information, so I can't tell you those. Why did you lock lie to Dr. Iwamine? Ooh. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go right through your stuff, doctor. Right, Sharlin? Yeah, he was lying about that. I came straight from cleaning my classroom. I haven't seen I hadn't seen you before I went into the infirmary. Ooh, dark music. Kind of like spy-like. But you told the doctor that we'd been together. Why? That was a month ago now. I was hoping my obligation to explain had lapsed. You knew I was lying then, so why did you play along? Because the doctor looked mad? I felt like if I didn't help you, he was going to do something to you. Hey, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Sorry, mon ami. Your hunter-gatherer instincts are too much for me. But yes, if you hadn't helped me back then, I'd probably be in the little plastic bags in the freezer by now. Th that's not funny! Indeed, it isn't funny at all. And it's not a joke. <laughs> Please, give me a straight answer, Yuya. That was a straight answer. I'm always straight in love. Almost always. No, I meant... <gasps> uh, Shirelin, could you do me a favor? What now? You're just trying to avoid the question again. Shh, listen. I'll only say this once. Huh? What's going on? His usual detached air is gone. He's looking around, almost nervously. I'm sorry, Monami. It looks as... Like we had better split up. Can you get home all right by yourself? Uh, of course I... Good girl. We'll part ways as soon as we reach that intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, so go straight home. Don't look back. The night roads are laden with traps. Be careful. Adieu, Monami. He turns briskly and disappears into a narrow alley. What? What? What is going on?! When did this turn so dark and so depressing? Ah! <coughs> what on earth is going on? He told me not to look back, but... <gasps> that was a gunshot! That was a gunshot! What? A gunshot? Yeah, let's scuttle on back to our cave. Later that night, he sent me an email. Did you make it home in one piece? I'll be visiting in your dreams, mon ami, so sleep well. The message bears no trace of the tension I felt in him earlier. Are you alright, Yuya? He really is Mysterious Bird. I think I'll assume that his existence is one of the seven mysteries of St. Pig Nations. I wouldn't blame you. Seriously, a gunshot? The late sunset... And summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll go get some udon and go home before I get life counseled. Wait, isn't that... Y Yuya? He's rummaging around in a garbage can. Yuya, what are you doing? Have you fallen so far, mongrel? Uh, good evening, Monami. You sound rather like a certain someone. I can't believe you need to fish around in our trash cans for food, Yuya. Please, don't misunderstand, Monomi. I was looking for something. Sadly, no clues were to be found in this barrel. Clues? What is he talking about? Let's keep this a secret from Sakuya, shall we? I would hate for him to have new names for me when school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal. Something like that. I would like to ask you escort you home, Monami. But unfortunately, I am somewhat busy at the moment. Will you be alright on your own? A hunter-gatherer can always find her way home. Indeed. Adieu, Monami. The smell of garbage surrounding him fades as he strides off into the night, but the mysteries don't. What was he looking for? Seriously, what was he looking for? Yep. Yep, we've been here. Yeah, 8.30. Return to my glorious abode. 
Um, good morning. Did everyone have fun? Yay! Up, oh, and it's the ID one. Sir! S sir! Oh! Hello, Charlene. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Charlene. I can take care of it. Yeah, we've, we've seen this. <clears throat> Today's an elective. What should I do? Oh, I wonder. Maybe math? Good mor- What the heck is going on? The classroom was filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Yeah, we've seen this one too. Today's the school festival. <coughs> so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Didn't you just say his class was doing a butler cafe in the courtyard? Hmm. As a member of the maid team, I can't ignore this threat. I should... Go spy on them. Ugh, no fair! They have all this and we're stuck in a classroom? I think we're <coughs> already lost in terms of location. Mon ami. Oh my god! He's in a cute little tuxedo! Oh my god, my throat's going out. One sec. Oh my god, he's in a fucking tuxedo! Yuya! How kind of you to come see me- Wait, no. Welcome back, my lady. Please, come this way. Oh, he does look good. I think I'm blushing. Y you're not fooling anyone, Yuya. You say that to er everybody, right? It is my duty for today. Please forgive me, my lady. Jeez. What's your class doing, Monami? A maid cafe. Well, well. I suppose that makes us rivals. You've certainly done a good job of infiltrating our base, I must say. Maids versus butlers. Battle of the school ground. I think that's a bit much. You're not on duty- <clears throat> You're not on duty today? Or are you taking a break? I'm on duty tomorrow. I see. In that case, I shall come witness your maidery. I will, of course, ask for you. I await your return, master. What? Yeah, I think that even took us by surprise in saying that. We're getting brand new cleaning supplies for the infirmary today. It doesn't seem like a particularly dirty room, but for some reason, they always run out really quickly. Yuya went ahead, and I can't keep him waiting. Blast off at the speed of light! To the maintenance office and beyond! Huh. Yuya is talking with the janitor, Mr. One. That's a cockatiel. That's a that's a cock. What? Okay. I hadn't expected Mr. One, the quiet, foppish bird with a cult following, to get along with the infamous stud muffin Sak Sakazaki Yuya. But I don't think we'll find any evidence. <clears throat> right. I'll check the others. Yuya. Salutations, mon ami. I was waiting for you. Here, I'll take the heavy stuff. You take the broom. That, That is that, then. Mr. One retreats into his lair with an unsociable expression. Mr. One seems kind of like kind of a loner. I wonder if it's part of the job description. He's a nice fellow once you get to know him. I think his taciturn nature does him great injustice, personally. You're friends with him? I do have a lot of opportunities to talk to him, yes. It was only to be expected. Hm. He starts carrying the supplies down the hall, ending the conversation. Somehow I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it. Hmm. That is weird. Usually Yuya is pretty open about stuff. We're going to be deciding our major soon. I haven't thought about it at all. I'll need to have my career all worked out by this time next year, won't I? I wonder if Yuya's already decided on his. Maybe I'll go ask him for advice. <coughs> Sakazaki? Uh, hey, did... S Sakazaki come in this morning? Yeah, he was here this morning. Don't know where he went. 
doesn't he attend class? He's never been particularly serious, no. He's even here half the time. I don't think he's planning on to go to, on to university, is he? I never realized. Hmm, if he's still here, he's probably at the infirmary or the shop. I'll go to the shop first. We didn't have infirmary duty today, and my hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me he's there. Yuya! Hello, Monami! You startled me! That was easier than I expected. He's acting kind of weird, though. He isn't shoplifting, is he? Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sure. Here. Wah! He takes my hand and runs from the store. What's going on? What are you doing? Why'd you drag me into this empty hallway? Are you excited? N no! Oh well. <clears throat> Why'd you come and talk to me, Monami? Were you drawn to my sexy aura? No, I just wanted to talk to you about career plans and stuff. You've always been a diligent girl, Shirelin. You know, hanging around me is dangerous, though. You won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? <clears throat> well, you might get... Shot, knife, dismembered, drowned, buried alive, that sort of thing. What? What? I don't know what you're talking about, Yuya. Don't think too hard. I mean exactly what I said. I'm going to disappear from the school soon, Monami. I know it isn't easy, but you shouldn't forget about me. That'll be for the best. His tone of voice is as carefree as ever, but his eyes are dead serious. I don't think he's joking. Kind of hard to swallow, isn't it? How about this? I'll tell you something neat as a parting gift. You know the rumors that missing students end up as meat in the cafeteria and quill pens in the shop? Hmm? Well... Why do you think I'm so forward, Monami? And why do you think I work in the for infirmary? Live an honest, happy life. I do! Uh, Yuya, wait! Yeah, we still got some time because it seems like February is usually when the game ends, so... What is going on with him? Got our finals back. We did really well. Beat... Beat Sakuya. The sun, its mag majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into, into incandescent glory. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've seen this. Blar. When did my phone end up upside down? Okay. Uh, fulfillment and conquest. Because why not? Here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Sharlin. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building, over there. Okay, thanks. See ya, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Tenbrook. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? This one! Java Blessing. Huh. That kinda looks like a zombie. Good, you got a better one than I did. I, just, I think this one will be a good year for you, Tenbrook. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Wait, isn't that... Oh, I'm glad I didn't skip over this. Yuya? Happy new salutations, Monami. It is you! Happy new salutations to you, too! Ah, to meet you on the first day of the new year. A good omen, indeed. Did you come alone? Not exactly, no. I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. You're just as suspicious as always, Yuya. But I found you instead, so I can't say this was a wild goose chase. <gasps> Monami. I shall go thank the gods of the shrine for this fated encounter. Adieu. And so he sauntered off with a dashing wave. I guess he was in a hurry. He was tailing someone, I think. Happy New Year, everyone. 
The Goobentines! Yep. I think it's... Bitter Black Beans. Take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. I want to give you your beans, but... I don't even know if he's at school today. I guess I'll have to call him. Salutations, mon ami. He answered. Hello, how are you, Yuya? Where are you right now? <clears throat> I'm fine, but alas, I cannot say where I am. The best men always have a mystery or 2,000, after all. Do you need me for something? Um, could we meet up for a bit? Please, I'll only ask this once. A once-in-a-lifetime request, in other words? Really? A once-in-a-lifetime... Plus, plenty more in the same lifetime. Request. Well, that sounds important. I can't exactly say no, now can I? Shall we meet at the usual place in the park tonight? Say, at 8? Okay. Yeah, we're quickly approaching the end of this route. Yuya, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. A time spent waiting for a lady is magical, irreplaceable time. Pay it no mind, Monami. Unfortunately, I do not have much time left today. Forgive my lack of romance, but may I ask what you wanted to meet me with me for? Oh, yes. It's Legumentine, so I wanted to give you this. You wanted to give me beans, Monami? Yes. Ah, uh, how wonderful. I am glad I risked my life to come here. I thought maybe your mature, manly spirit would like these. Bitter black beans. Thank you, Monami. I have loved these since I was but a child. Had I told you that? Nope, but my hunter-gatherer instincts never fail. I see. I wonder if we truly are bound together by fate. <sighs> How romantic. That gives me hope and caffeine to carry me through this darkest of nights. Adieu, mon ami. <clears throat> and so he disappeared into the night. I can't say I have any more of an idea what he's up to than I ever do, but I'm glad he liked beans. Bitter black beans. I wonder if those are coffee beans. Semester's almost hour. Oh, and it's February 13th. In a few short weeks, I will no longer be a sophomore. I haven't seen you yet since New Year's. Um, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. You just gave him legumentine beans, like, ten days ago. <laughs> Apparently he hasn't come to school all semester. There are rumors that he dropped out, but could that really be true? <clears throat> I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart. I think I'll go drown my sorrows in arcade games. <clears throat> Wait, isn't that... Yuya? Monami? You look like you're doing pretty well. I, uh, have some stuff to do. I do! Yuya. Hey! W w wait! Uh, Charlene, could you not grab me so tightly? Huh? Yuya, is your wing broke? Look out! A gunshot? Again with the gunshots! Opening fire on a lady? Such insufferable cads they are. This way, Monami. Run! Yuya, what's going on? Please, explain yourself. What are you? Why are people trying to kill you? Are you a wanted man? I suppose I can't really say you're not involved anymore, can I? It's time I explained. Do you know of the Hawk Party and the Dove Party, Monomi? The political factions? Right. They were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. The Dove Party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining humans, while the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them to make room for birds. Seg Pink Nations is actually a secret experimental institute created by the Hawks. That explains just so much and yet nothing at all! What? Of course, it's not like the entire faculty is working for them. There's only one hawk agent actually working at the school. By contrast, I was dispatched... I think they spelled that wrong. By the doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiments. As you said, I'm a wanted man. <laughs> I'm proud to live up to that title. I'm an expert at clan... Clandenstein information retrieval, and information is valuable. I imagine you're 
Oh, you've already realized why I was acting as a helper in the infirmary? Because the Hawk agent is... Dr. Iwamine. Correct. Iwamine is no doubt an assumed name. He's a researcher for the Hawk Party and has been developing anti-human biological weapons using data collected during physical examinations. Remember when he, we bumped into each other at the school shop? Yes, I think we... I was investigating where the products sold there came come from. I found that DNA samplings from the pen there pens there match samples taken from missing student students. Same goes for much of the poultry in the cafeteria. Why would there be poultry for sale in the cafeteria anyways? I have not seen one bird of prey in the entire school. So there is no reason, save for your one human student, for there to be Freaking poultry in the cafeteria! Th th that's horrible! But if the doctor was out to exterminate humans, why did he never do anything to me? <clears throat> hmm. This is just my interpretation, but I don't think he holds any political ideas. I think he trusts only in his own knowledge and his own power to expand that knowledge. Something like a mad scientist, maybe? Exactly. I suppose it's never occurred to, m to him to target you, since you were working for him. I think he was more interested in observing your interactions with the other students. I wanted to reveal the Hawk's involvement in school, but in the end, it proved to be too much for me alone. I think they were kind of in a hurry when they wrote this one, or it didn't get translated well. Because I keep noticing missing words. <clears throat> and now, well, I can no longer live in the open. I plan to leave the city tonight. But I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can just leave you here, Shirelin. Yuya, you may have already been marked as one of my associates, and if that is the case, then leaving you alone would be dangerous. <clears throat> I'm sorry I got you involved in all of this, Monami. Hardly. I was the one who approached you. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> You're such a nice girl. Thank you. Hmm. I'll let you decide. Do you want to come with me into the world of darkness? Or would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you wanted to stay, I'll assign agents to protect you. I want to... Go with you, yeah! Because we're going the freaking route! I want to go with you. Are you sure? You may be putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. Ah, somehow I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't been this happy in a long time. There's nothing more keeping us here, then. Let us go, Monami. And so I followed Yuya into the world of darkness. Sometime in the future, a pair of spies and their endless battle for justice behind the frail curtain of society will pass into legend. But that's not- that's another story. What the hell is going on?! What the hell?! Nations. Yuya only lived twice. Bird. James Bird. Let's take a look at the archive, see what we unlocked. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I think it's nine. Reference Bird deceased. The death of Subject 00's relative have been confirmed. His remains are stored in Area D3, Section 1. They are boxed and processed. What the hell? Okay. Anyways, guys. That's Yuya's story. We've got Okosan and Iwamine still that we have to contend with. Beyond that, I'm not sure. I wonder if we'll actually figure out what's going on in this damn thing. But I'm thinking that given we have so many things here, we're missing more than just those two people three people so I'll take get I'll look into that when we get closer to finishing this up oh, holy crap there's a lot more than I thought but that'll be in that'll be next time <clears throat> and I'll see you guys next time bye